We will, we will rock you. Because Roger rules. Yeah. Um, welcome to the Dire Whoopie Kid, Roger Grules. Uh, one of the Re- best sequels review. ever. Uh, yeah, really oh, review. Review. Yeah. Uh-huh. Roger Grules. No, yeah. Um, I'm going to say one of the best sequels ever. Yeah. And really good movie from like the trilogy and everything else. And New Fresh going off. Well, well, yeah, kind of like what you said. It's just something about sequels just liking kind of like a little bit much more better than the original. I mean, like, this is for me. Like, it also, like you got your Shrek 2s, you got your Ice Ages, you got freaking Sing 2s, like, everything. Like, it's just something about it that makes them kind of like a little bit much more something to them. Because with the Diary of the Wimpy Kid trilogy, the classic old one, I just always find myself either watching Roderick Rules or Dog Days instead of just the original sometimes. You know? I, I get what you're saying, yeah, because back when I first watched Roger Rules and Dog Days, it was uh, pretty much really good for me. Because for me, um, from my side, I would frequently watch uh, Dog Days because I feel like in a way, because although we're not reviewing this, Dog Days, like, that was, like, the final time we got to see the OG cast and everything. That's the thing. Yeah. But when we lose it there, who we will move it down about, like, really some really good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of which, Fresh, why don't you, I'm um, sorry, stop at the beginning. All right, well, well, the plots, well, yes, it just really just focuses on the relationship between Greg and, and Roderick as well, because... Here, yeah, it's just really taking time for him to just bond after Roderick just threw a party behind his parents' back after, well, of course, causing Greg heck for, like, all the rest of all, like, all his life, of course. But after they decide to just, like, clean up and just keep it a secret, they slowly start to do, to do it, bond a little bit of a bond, a brother bond, <laughs> which might be, like, one of the most important things to ever anybody will bond. But of course, things all go to heck when they're exposed about the party and then the relationship downfalls. But soon, they just kind of like make up at the end of the talent show. So, so, so yeah, that's basically it. And also, of course, um, Greg also kind of like falls for a girl that, sh- that wants to like make a good impression on. You know, a little bit of a goofy movie type of thing. Yeah. But yeah, that's what why we're, we're getting to the Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what was I, I was just saying it totally makes sense. Yeah. And I was saying that was a good vibe we got from there. And uh, what do you call it? Thank you for that quick summary fresh. Um, because there were m- much more to the movie, like explaining like how Roger and Greg t- got to this place. Because, Jesus, there is a lot of scenes that was like, wow, disgusting. But it's pretty cool at the same time. Like I said in the beginning... Basically, when they were going out and the uh, beginning of the movie, yeah, that, it was just like that pizza scene with him, uh, Rowley, and oh my god, it's just like, oh, you thought you were getting free pizza, but no, everybody's just like leaving them, sneezing on them, sitting on them, like, that is gross as hell. Especially with, well, what you expect from Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy ass. Yeah. Uh, but of course, um, how they got in this situation with, you know, um, both Greg and Roderick's parents going, going out of time with Manny to say, like, have a peaceful time, you know, just, like, trying to get them to, like, get along. But that was not the case because as soon as they left, Roderick planned his whole fucking party and everything, lugging Greg in the basement. Tried to call Riley over, but he got dropped in the basement, too. And Greg had the idea of calling their mob and be like, oh, I'm in the basement and everything. And be like, hey, bro, why are you in the basement? Hang out with me. And they just had this whole, like, freaking party and everything. It was honestly really good. Yeah. But it was really messed up. In order to, like, start things off, of course, Greg, of course, like, he's falling in love with Holly Hills, the new girl in town. And, well, Roger has, hey, what, what you waiting for, Wimp? Why don't you go make a good impression on her? And maybe I will. And then, of course, he just see blocks and it'd be like, and it goes way out of control with, like, free skating and stuff like, like that. And then, of course, Greg's parents embarrass him in front of in front of everybody. Um, Greg tries to kick Greg uh, Roderick's butt, but he ends up accidentally ruining a kid's birthday party. And it's, yeah, it's just kind of really messed up. Yeah. Huh. And even worse, and it's even it even gets worse for him at school because when school is started, a new year, um, 
Gray tries to sit next to Holly Hills, but he and Patty Farrell get a little bit of a scruffle. But up until the new teacher, I, I guess, like, he has a teacher. Yeah, like, since Greg is related to Roderick, he's like, I got my eye on you. You better watch your back, man. Yeah, because, yeah. And this is clear for, for anybody that hasn't watched it from for somebody watching this review. Greg was officially going to seventh grade, and as the first explained, the teacher realized after saying the last name Heffley, that's where Greg kind of screwed up. He could have been like, no, I'm not related, but he just had to say yes for some reason. Oh, yeah, he just said Greg Heffley. He could just say Greg, but it's in order to save himself. But... <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Um, what I can say is a little what messed up with Greg is like, you know, ignoring Chirag because he was going to India for a few months and everything. And then when he came back, he acted like, oh, oh, I wish he was still here and everything. Well, that was only because, that was only because Chirag said, I guess you're disapproving older brother was right. You have no game. He just said that to his face. That's what started. And I was like, dang. I mean, but he's not lying, though, to be fair, because he's waiting for that long. Right, you're yeah. actually right. And to be fair, why should we be rooting for a guy who's always, whose, like, dream is only to just, you know, be famous for just existing because, well, you know, Greg was meant to be unlikable to begin with, so, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, true that. Remember, remember the church scene? Oh, don't get me started. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Manny! Oh, Manny, I have a chocolate bar, and you see Roger just putting it in his pockets. And the way how his dad was scrubbing it off his butt, he was like making this panty dog sound. Yeah. 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 I'm not going in there. Well, you have to. And then, you see him wearing that, what his mom was wearing. And then everybody's looking at him. He's like, what? And then that's where the meme from Riley was like, oh, hey, Greg. Oh, what are you wearing? But then it just gets way worse when Roger decides, okay, I'm going to be a diva and expose my brother. They're like, poor people his pants. People his pants. And he just didn't have to do that. Like, it's just gross when he just stuck his finger up his no, I swear, it's just chocolate. Look, see? Chocolate. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that kind of reminds me of Alvin and Simmons. Like, you know, Simon was saying it was it was a raisin, but no, it wasn't. He was just doing that to save, save the door. <laughs> you owe me big time. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and one thing that did get me laughing in this movie, like, yeah, I'd say it was definitely the sprinkler scene, like, Greg was, like, trying to save the chair, but unfortunately, while trying to avoid the sprinkler, but he got squirted in the face anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, speaking of which, what kind of screwed them over after the party is, like, like... It was like the drawing on like the, the door, the bathroom door, and luckily they had one at another door in the basement, but it's not the same one because it didn't have a lock. And now the the parents are questioning like, does this, this door look different to you and everything? And yeah, as Fresh explained earlier, like when showing the footage of like you know the pictures of the party, and then everybody's just questioning yourself. You're like, wait, you told mom? You told me there's a lot of white people. Oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah, and of course you know the father. The father did get mad at one thing. He saw one of his figurines on the ground, and he said, they're not toys, they're figurines. On the thermostat. The thermostat, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about one of the coolest scenes with Roger and Greg when he went to that store just to eat some hot dogs and everything, get some slushies. That was, like, a really good And, of course, poor yeah. Prince with that fake vomit. <laughs> the first dude's reaction always gets me. He was like, oh! <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> but everything all went to crap when Coach Bilbo, yes, was like chasing after them. You can't outrun me. I'm a superstar. Everybody go with me. And then they went to the mall. Gotcha. Oh no, there's statues. Dude, I gotta say, even though they were almost as close and catch like by him, but it was like clever what he did back there. <laughs> But then that's when, of course, like, oh my God, you lied, and then you're grounded, and also you're not invited to, you're not going to perform in the talent show, and this broke Roderick so much that, yes, he declared, this means war. I was yeah. trying to remember his name. Um, Bill was his name. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was this a new member that Roderick recruited, and you know he was trying to act like the coolest guy ever, which he was a little bit. 
Because especially in the dinner scene where he's like, respect your parents and everything. I thought he was a cool fellow there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like being so cool. <laughs> yeah. But since they're grounded and everything, oh, remember that weekend they had to spend with their grandfather? Well, yeah, that's just part of the punishment. Yeah. And Greg didn't know this, that Holly was there. <laughs> but <laughs> as he got up from, like, you know, sleeping, uh, Roger's reading his diary, well, supposedly journal, because you know how it is. And he's just running around trying to find his journal but in his underwear. <laughs> you know, it might be a little bit unsettling, but yeah, be part of I mean, well, uh, he was just only just writing about how much he and Holly have are like similar, similar to one another. Because, yeah, you build up a little bit of a friendship, so that's good. That good. Exactly. And towards the end, like, just trying to, like, oh, yeah, while well, the talent show, remember, um, Riley also wanted to do something for his talent show, like, have Greg as his assistant, but he didn't want to do it at first, so he hired someone else. But that kid got uh, stage fright. So the time came, because he really begged his mom, please do it, and, like, can I do it and everything, but, you know, agreeing that he would do it for Riley as well. I gotta say, their act together was, like, disaster. But, well, I mean, it's like, you know, it's like one of those things where the, where the crowd does, like, go along with it, and they decide to just like it anyway. But the only reason why Greg wanted to, like, help Riley with his magic stuff it is in order for just Roger to perform. Which, yeah. And, just to clarify, while there were, he was still grounded, as I said before with Bill, he was a cool fella, but the only thing that was not cool for him is that he would hire someone else for Lord Diaper for a band that he did not create. Roger made the band. <laughs> yeah, this kind of looked screwed up. And then when Loaded Diaper started to perform, of course everyone was like, "What? Who, who are these guys? These guys suck!" But everything all went like all hyped up when you know Mrs. Hefley started just dancing. She became meme worthy and everything. Everyone just and it's like everybody loves us, man. But oh no, it's just your mom. It's just your mom, dude. It's Loaded Diaper. Oh wait, pause. I, I need to step out for a second. Dog is crazy. But yeah, as we're explaining with that final scene with Loda Diaper, and yeah, as they're performing, and while Mrs. Hefley is like, you know, dancing, uh, Roger was saying to um, Bill, saying, hey, you know, after this, you're kicked out the band. And he was like, what? And you know, he deserved it, actually. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, I, the irony, like when somebody like echoes back to you about what they said to you before, it's, yeah, it's so very satisfying. But of course, um, Greg, Greg and Roger did kind of like have a little bit of a, bond with each other even though they might not get along with each other of course they'll always be there forever or something like that and of course at the end at the very end when they upload you know the crazy dancing mom at the talent show greg you are so dead oh crap <laughs> it, it was incredible yeah uh yeah even though that was like you know the full movie uh, there were some other scenes i want to mention was um one of them I remember when Greg had to do that report, and then Roger was like, hey, don't worry, man, I got you. You can just use my old reports. But not knowing that the teacher memorized all the fucking reports years ago, especially Roger, because when Greg was reading his story, I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? I, I, yeah, just, <laughs> it was just weak. There was, a, there was also that scene where, was, where Roger was giving Greg advice about, like, you know, not doing stuff, you, you know, for yourself, let other people do it for you. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, this is from my side. What about Eat Fresh? Any more scenes or no? <laughs> I mean, the one that had me watching the movie in the first place, the, um, what, what was it? The, uh, TikTok, the TikTok scene with, you, you know, with, uh, uh, what, what's her, what's her Wake name? up in the morning, like. <laughs> yeah, but it, oh my god, I go Bapper Riley in that scene. Oh yeah, yeah, he stepped on that stupid I, gift that Manny gave him after he ruined the video game. God, I hate it. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah. Oh, that was so loud. That's something. <laughs> yeah, but. Hey, and anything from you, Messmate, from this movie? Um. I'd say this this movie was like pretty funny and yeah, I loved it. Alright. And now to the cast. Alright, uh 
Well, me and Fraser, the original one um, from last year, we're just going to uh, basically mention the newer cast members here. One of them being Peyton List is Holly. Now, I first got introduced to her through Jesse, and I'm going to say she's an incredible actor, especially during this movie. I, yes, I agree. This was my introduction to her, but what was most surprising of her is apparently, like, seeing her in Spider-Man 2. In that scene where um, Peter saves those two kids, she was the girl. Yes, I remember. But yeah, it was great to know, to know that she's still doing well, and, well, I just really just enjoy, you know, seeing people about just going about their journey with whatever it is that they do, of course, obviously. God's new perspective. And exactly. And let's see here. Um, other ones that we're mentioning. Oh, yeah, the actor that played Bill, his name is Fran Krantz. Uh, he, w he was in the film uh, The Cabin in the Woods. Um, what else was he in? Uh, uh, okay. Donnie Dar um, Darko. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, let's see. Hitch. Oh my God! In Hitch, he was the Coca Cola guy. The guy, the guy sprayed with by um by by this chick. That was him this whole time. Dang. And he was also in uh, it's, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, uh, Dollhouse, The Good Wife. Let's see here. Partied down and yeah, they didn't know much about his work, but he did good. Huh. Interesting. And let's see. Um, oh wait a minute! I don't, wait, I don't think it was. You know, I think it was from this film. I forgot because I was as I was searching for it, um, other actors that were in the film. Um, remember the rule they um Greg's mom had with um, you know, not lying and then just telling the truth the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of. I uh, find that funny because it backfired on her because when somebody was calling for her, she was like, don't say I'm here. But Greg was like, oh, but that'll be lying. And then she had to stay outside in the rain. Oh, wait. And I kind of thought that he was lying and she and she was like standing out in the rain and be like, I'm going to punish this boy. <laughs> oh, my God. That was. <laughs> but yeah, um, speak of which, uh, Terrence Kelly, who played uh, Gre Greg's grandfather, well, yes, other films and TV shows he's been in, like, yeah. Uh, Fresh, did you watch the... I believe you did watch this movie, The Watchmen. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah, he played a character named General West, if you remember. I, I don't. <gasps> oh! In, 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 in the 2020 Sonic movie, he was the farmer. Like, when Sonic used his ring to save um, Tom and Maddie and they landed in a barn. That was... Yeah, I, re I remember. He was also in the big year. Let's see here. What else? The X Files. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, still checking for more. Oh yeah, when I, did I say Coach Bilbo? I meant Coach Malone. Wow, I did, I got that from Drake from freaking Drake and Josh. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's no issue. Uh, he was also in Smallville. Okay, that's pretty good. Supernatural. Oh, nice. Harper's Island, nice, nice, nice. I Zombie, nice. Well, yeah, I think he played Greg's um, grandfather really good. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. Let's see anybody else from the newer cast? Uh, or I think that's, I believe that's it. Well, I don't recognize like anybody else. So. But yeah, the new additions to like the movie again, hilarious and very proud of. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's hundred percent. And now to our final thoughts. <laughs> so yeah, um, with our Whoopi Kid, Watch Rules, again, as we said in the beginning, one of the best sequels ever, especially like some chaotic scenes, some great scenes, it's like in a whole, if you haven't watched this, like, you know, the trilogy yourself, you should watch it. It's, it's worth to watch it, actually. So yeah, for this movie, I would give it like a million. It's like that good. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, I agree with you. Yes, I 100% agree. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we'll see you next time for another review.